How to practice for speed and consistency? I am practicing a piece on piano and I find that I can not progress beyond 70% of the intended speed without hitting a lot of wrong keys by accident. In fact, I even have problems playing the song at 50% speed or even slower without hitting any wrong keys. With wrong keys I usually mean jumping to a specific key and then not only hitting that one but additionally the one above, below. Here is how often that happens in relation to the speed estimates. So even if I play it very slowly, I can't avoid hitting some wrong keys. What would you recommend to get me to 100% speed with perfect consistency the fastest? Ideas, just keep practicing, have been doing that for the last months. Do more finger exercises, scales. Start with a second piece, I would like to do that because it gets very frustrating, but I don't want to slow down my progress. Here is the song for reference, https colon slash slash u2 dot be slash omcuctac dash s question mark t equals 109, mainly the part starting at 150. Any help would be highly appreciated. The following suggestion is based on my experience developing a software course called Guitar Speed Trainer and on countless conversations with users of that course. Of course the guitar has a whole different set of issues than the piano, but I think that some of the general principles are valid for all instruments, and I hope this will help you at least a little. In my experience, a crucial factor in developing speed and precision on any instrument as quickly as possible is the choice of the speed at which you practice. If you practice too slowly, it's too easy and you're not getting much benefit for the time you spend. If you practice too fast, you make too many mistakes. And one doesn't become a clean player by practicing mistakes, rather, one develops bad habits. The most effective process that we found is to start practicing a given musical phrase at a speed which is slow enough so you can still play it perfectly. Do that a few times, and then vary. Gradually increase the speed while you can still playing well with a lot of effort and concentration, then push a little more, until you start making some mistakes. And then, slow down a bit, until you can play it well again. A few more times. After that, take a short rest. And then, rinse and repeat. In the course I mentioned above we developed a system called, speed curve, where the metronome automatically follows the above pattern, the speed curve, so you can adjust the various speed points, starting point, max speed, final speed, and change gradient, to suit your needs at that moment. In short, it is important to practice right at the edge of your ability at that moment. Dot. Let's say 75% of the time just below the edge, and some 25% of the time just above the edge. These speed points also need to be continually adjusted, according to your capacity right in that moment. For example, when you start practicing you'll be cold and your speed may be lower than usual. Then you'll warm up and the speed points should be moved higher. Then you'll start to get a little tired, and the speed points should be lowered a bit again. This formula, in our experience, is what gives you the fastest and most substantial return on investment for the time and energy you spend in training. Here's an old web page that explains that a bit, see point number 3 in particular, http colon slash slash www.micrologus.com slash courses slash guitar underscore speed underscore trainer.